Hey guys, it's Robin. I wish I could show you. I'm, I'm gonna put in a picture of what Penny is doing right now. She is hiding under this blanket here in the corner. She's like, I don't want to be on camera right now. So I'm here today with another 10 things video and I want to talk about my 10 favorite things right now in January. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. Um, so yeah, I like to talk about 10 things that I really love or I'm into or I'm obsessed with and I think they're all pretty awesome. Number one on my list this month is podcasts. I have been back on a podcast kick lately, uh, mostly because I don't want to spend extra money on audiobooks, and podcasts are mostly free. Uh, a really cool podcast you should check out is my friend Holly's um, Girl Boss Lounge, and you can get that on iTunes. I'll put a link down below where you can check that out. Um, you can hear me and my friend Mommy, and also me and my friend that Disney Mom all chatting about stuff on that podcast. And besides that shameless plug, um, I also have been really into Nerdist and Welcome No Night Vale, and also Anna Ferris is Unqualified. They're all pretty awesome and hilarious. And um, whether I'm at work or in the car, the, the podcast app on the iPhone just makes it so easy to listen to cool stuff all day long. I love it. Number two on my list, because every list I make always has to have a Star Wars reference, is Star Wars Rebel. This show is just getting so, I mean, it just gets more and more awesome every week, I think. A few weeks ago, they had Saw Gerrera, who was in Rogue One, um, show up. And it was very interesting, because I think this is set a few years before Rogue One, and he was not all messed up like he was in the movie. So, I'd really like to know what happened to Saw. There needs to be more episodes of Rebels or comics or something to explain that. But anyway, there was also a really awesome Sabine storyline just this last week with a lightsaber and it was amazing. Sorry for spoilers, but it's so cool. And we still don't know what happened to Ahsoka, so I'm guessing she's going to come back with a big punch really soon. And I'm still waiting on that Hera backstory, but it's been really, really great season. And Thrawn is in it. I mean, it's awesome. Awesome, awesome storytelling. Dave Filoni, that guy is amazing. Number three on my list is a show that I was sort of watching randomly and I started watching it um, a little more frequently this year, pretty much every week, is Blackish. It is such a great comedy. Um, the characters are great, the acting is great, the writing is great, and it, they just take on so many issues and present really important topics in a really funny way. And I don't think there's any other shows like that on TV right now. It really cracks me up. And um, Anthony Anderson's character is hilarious. And um, so is, what is her name? Tracy Ellis Ross? Some Tracy Ross. Um, the woman who plays Bo, his wife, is awesome. And the, ki the kids are hilarious. That twin Diane, who is crazy. And um, <laughs> yeah, and Davide Diggs from Hamilton has been on this year and uh yeah it's been great it's a great show and they talk about politics and race and just so many things in our culture and i think it's such an so important and uh definitely check it out if you're not watching it um i think it's a great great show number four on my list is getting to be a real problem it's my obsession with clothes um today i'm wearing my weasley sweater from hot topic um nerd fashion has just gotten really great especially even in plus sizes for women Torrid, Hot Topic, all these sites have really cool clothes. And then there's LuLaRoe, which I'm also obsessed with. And I had to go out and buy more hangers because I'm just obsessed with clothes. And I really need to go out and buy, um, well, no, I really need to go and weed some of it out. But I'm not ready for that yet because I love it. Luckily, it's been a pretty mild winter. Um, so I've been able to keep up with wearing my skirts every day. I haven't had to wear pants. I wore pants once so far this winter. That's amazing. Legit pants with like... A zipper and a button they were so uncomfortable I don't ever want to wear them again um, yeah so I really just it's a lot of fun and I love it and I haven't loved clothes as much I don't think ever maybe when I was in high school like my senior year I had a lot of fun with clothes too and uh, I used to wear like cool flowery dresses with Doc Martin boots and Converse and funny hats and all kinds of weird stuff um, <laughs> if I can find a picture I'll try to put that in but yeah I'm so obsessed with clothes, it's just crazy. Number five on my list is comics. I have been catching up a lot on some of my favorite comic books. Squirrel Girl, of course, is my number one all-time favorite. Squirrel Girl, the character actually just turned 25, so happy birthday, Squirrel Girl. She was created 25 years ago. I can't remember the name of the series, but she's been making appearances in Marvel and finally has her own awesome series thing to Ryan North and Erica Henderson. She's funny, she's smart, check her out, she's awesome. Um, I'm also caught up finally on Vader and Star Wars, which were awesome. And um, I also picked up a couple of um, 
novel, the graphic novel versions, I guess the, the volumes, the collected volumes of um, Thor, of the Mighty Thor, I think, or was it the Goddess of Thunder? I really just wanted to find out why there was now a Thor who is a woman, and I picked up um, two, of the first vol two of the first collected volumes at Barnes & Noble a while ago, and they were written by Jason Aaron, who I really like. He also writes um, Star Wars, and uh, it's really cool, great, great stuff. I'm really digging that and um, I'm mostly caught up on that. I, I want to also now start the um, the Unworthy Thor which is like a companion series and I'm waiting for the next collected volume of um, the Mighty Thor to come out so I can follow that because I'm really really enjoying that series. I think it's great. And I also um, have been reading Miss Marvel who's awesome. She lives here in Jersey down in Jersey City. Just a couple miles from where I live. That's so cool that there's a superhero right there. Number six on my list is a website app that I'm absolutely loving right now. I've been telling everybody about it. It's called Just Watch, and it's like a database of um, it's like a database of movies and television and all kinds of things. And it helps you pick what to watch because there's just so much awesome stuff um, on demand and on Netflix, Amazon, all these streaming services. And this site um, kind of lets you filter by what's free, what's streaming, what you can rent, what's on cable. It's so cool. Um, I'll put a link down below to the site and um, you can just bookmark your favorite things or things you wanna watch or plan to watch and it's a great way to, um, like I said, sort of um, compile all that stuff no matter what um, what service they're on. It's great, I guess I have a very long movie wish list that I wanna see and it's been helping me, instead of just sitting there every night like, like going back and forth trying to decide they're all in one place it's made picking movies to watch way easier and it's awesome number seven on my list is something i've been obsessed with for a few months and that is moana specifically the moana soundtrack it is something i listen to almost every morning when i wake up i like to listen to music when i get up like when i'm getting ready to take a shower and making my food and stuff because it just makes me feel happy and uh, moana soundtrack is amazing um, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who, you know, guys probably know about my Hamilton obsession, he wrote a lot of these songs, and, um, I just love the whole vibe of them. I just think they're so cool. Um, what's really funny is my niece Madison only likes to listen to, like, maybe 30 songs. She won't listen to Shiny, which I think is amazing. Jermaine Clement from Flight of the Concords plays Tamatoa, and he's hilarious in this great, does this great, like, almost Bowie-esque performance. I think that song is hilarious and Madison is like as soon as it starts playing like as the next song she's like no that guy she doesn't want any to hear any villain songs that's cool she's you know it's all right number eight one of my favorite people right now is Martin Freeman I've been a big fan of his I mean I've loved him since he was Tim on the British office um and he was and he was Bilbo Baggins in The Lord of the Rings, and he's on Sherlock, and he's John Watson, and he's amazing. I also just watched Fargo. I finished watching Fargo. I started watching Fargo like three years ago, or whenever it came out, and I only just finished watching that first series. And he's so good. He's such a great actor. I also just saw him in Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Um, he's an amazing, amazing actor in all of those things, and I just love him and I just have to give him a little shout out because he's amazing. Number nine is another show I've been binging um, along with Fargo. I've been on a real Felicity kick lately. I never watched Felicity when it was on TV. I think it's because it came out the year right after I finished college and I was like, well, I don't want to watch a show about college. I already went to college. It's so good. And I'm about um, halfway through season two. Um, after Felicity cut her hair and it's great. And I love Scott Foley. So yeah, I'm totally team Noel. Um, really fun show, great characters. I was in high school, I always wanted to go to NYU and um, live in New York City, and it's something I've never gotten to do. Um, and I did get into NYU, but I couldn't afford to go there. So, yeah, I'm kind of jealous of that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's a fun show. And I'm going to finish watching another episode when I finish this video. And finally, number 10 on my list is cooking. <gasps> you guys, I have not been obsessed with cooking in so long. I have not really even been interested in cooking in years and I've been on a really um, big cooking kick lately. Even my mom was like, what is going on? I've used my food processor more in the last month than I have in years, you guys. I mean, it was dusty. Um, but I'm just having a lot of fun finding good recipes, making them even healthier. There's a site called Skinny Taste that I really love. 
and I'm just finding um, really good stuff, cooking it, and then putting it, um, kind of meal prepping it, like putting it in containers so they have food throughout the week. Tonight, um, this weekend, I made about three different recipes, so I have food not only for lunch, but also breakfast and dinner, so I'm going to come home from work, and there's going to be a nice healthy meal ready for me, and I think that's really going to help me with my health goals, and it's just really fun, and to try new things, and, um, I just made a butternut squash lasagna, which was amazing, and it tastes great, and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about that. So guys, comment down below, let me know what you're obsessed with this January, and let me know what you think of my list. Um, whether you're into any of this stuff too. What are you watching? What are you reading? Tell me about it. I want to know. Um, I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And thank you for being awesome. We'll see you again real soon. Bye. Maybe Penny will come out of this blanket now that I'm done filming. I don't know. I will film it on my phone if she does. Okay, I'll put it in right here. Hey Penny, I'm done recording. Are you going to come out? I swear she's under here, you guys. See the tail? Penny, are you coming out? There she is. <laughs> Aw, you did say hello. She wants a treat. Okay. Bye, guys. Hit Penny on the head to subscribe and make sure you check out our other videos. Thanks for watching.